Hey guys, it's Kyle McElhaney coming to you today with your April 16th why. And today I want to talk about your why. I know a lot of people have talked about why in the past, uh, but I'm going to give you a little different spin on, on a why. Um, I'll tell you, uh, our, our end goal when we first started AdvoCare was to allow me to step away from the military. And shortly, coming up in basically a year, uh, I'll actually be allowed to do that. And so since we were able to, uh, since we said yes to AdvoCare and we got to work, it's put us in a position where, where that's gonna be possible. But what's even cooler is it put us in a position where we could say yes to other things in, in life, say yes to other opportunities that we never thought possible. Uh, but because actually way before um, well, I, I'll just tell you, we are taking a part of an opportunity that we some, that we always kind of wanted to do. And because of AdvoCare, it has allowed us to, to take that step. And whenever we first started AdvoCare, this opportunity wasn't present. It wasn't an option to us. But you know what was holding us back, even if it was an option to us, was the debt that we had. The, the, the time debt that we had. You know, Brandy was working on um, a degree and was about to get a job and go into the workforce. Um, and here I am, you know, doing uh, a full-time job as well. And we had $10,000 in debt. And if we would continue down on that path, we would have never been able to take the, take, um, the opportunity that has been presented to us recently. So we were able to work on something without really even knowing what it was. But it was because it was our why. We knew that our why was to actually eventually get out of the military. So that's what we focused on. And w with that, you know, kind of take a look at that, uh, turn the mirror back on yourself and think about what does that mean for you? If, if you start working AdvoCare hard today, what would that mean for you if an opportunity arose six, six months, uh, a year, or two years down the road? Um, because a lot of people, some people may not be able to see the, the full opportunity. They may not be able to see the stay-at-home parent or parents or stay-at-home um just person in general, or they, may, or they may not want to. That just may not be the type of thing that they're looking to do. But what they are able to see is a bigger savings account. They are able to see less debt. They are able to see a five hundred dollar rookie uh, rookie bonus. They are able to see you know buying a couch free and clear. So make sure when when you talk to your people, uh, you you figure out what they really want to do. That that if rate, you know, increasing the amount of money in their savings account is something they want to do. Maybe they want to hit $10,000. When they do that, that's a big deal. Celebrate that. It may not be, you know, like I said, doing, doing AdvoCare full-time. That may not be the end goal. But to them, meeting these extra goals that AdvoCare has allowed them to get to is that victory, is that big to them. And eventually, as they grow, their vision grows, and their, their hopes and their passion grow as well. And just just tell you, you know, AdvoCare may not be the, the end-all, be-all for them. They may not be, you know, saying, hey, AdvoCare is 100% what I want to do. But it may allow them to follow their passion. It may allow them to do what they want to do in the end. So so make sure you try to show them that. And if you're watching this and and, and you're not sure what your passion is, make sure, you, make sure you go out and look for it. Go out and take a look. Say, what would I do if I didn't have to? To get up and go to work every single day what would i do if i had the opportunity to spend more money doing something else what what would i do and then take a look at that and uh go out there and get it and then once you do that go show others how to do that too all right thanks you guys have a great day